I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. That that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. That some of you already know that it's hard. It's not easy. It's hard changing your life. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself and say, God, why, why is this happening to me? I'm just trying to take care of my children and my mother. I'm not trying to steal or rob from anybody. How did this have to happen to me? For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dreams. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. Greatness is not this wonderful, esoteric, elusive, God-like feature that only the special among us uh, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very important for you to believe that you are the one. Most people, they raise a family, they earn a living, and then they die. They stop growing, they stop working on themselves, they stop stretching, they stop pushing themselves. That a lot of people like to complain, but they don't want to do anything about their situation. And most people don't work on their dreams. Why? One is because of fear. The fear of failure. What if things don't work out? And the fear of success. What if they do and I can't handle it? These are not risk takers. You spend so much time with other people. You spend so much time trying to get people to like you. You know other people more than you know yourself. You studied them. You know about them. You want to hang out like them. You want to be just like them. And you know what? You've invested so much time in them. You don't know who you are. I challenge you to spend time by yourself. It's necessary.